Cristiano Ronaldo picked up two League Cup titles during his time at Manchester United, though he won't be earning a medal should the Red Devils beat Newcastle in this year's final. The Red Devils take on Eddie Howe's side at Wembley on Sunday as they look for their first success in the competition since 2017. Ronaldo started the season at Old Trafford, though left in December having not played in United's third-round win over Aston Villa. The Portuguese superstar did not make a League Cup appearance after returning to Old Trafford in 2022 and he didn't have a happy grounding in the tournament either. Ronaldo's first showing in the then Carling Cup came in 2003 as United were beaten by West Brom. Signs were there that Ronaldo would become a star but he was hauled off after 77 minutes and replaced by Daniel Nardiello. Nardiello never featured in the Premier League for United though did make four appearances across all competitions having progressed through the academy at Old Trafford. I remember him signing, he was in and around the club but I didn't realize I'd come on for him, Nardiello told of Ronaldo. I remember coming on, West Brom is not too far from where I grew up, so I knew a few people in the stadium. But I had no idea I'd come on for Ronaldo. You knew he was good, but you'd never predict he would go on to do what he's done, one of the best players that's ever lived. But who could predict that? He was a tall, skinny teenager, younger than me with broken English. He was impressive, but to go on and do what he's done, I don't think anyone could predict that. I remember always seeing him in the gym, working his butt off, he's always had that work ethic and that's why he's done what he has. He's got unbelievable ability, but he went that extra mile. Fergie always used to say you can be an unbelievable player, but if you haven't got that work ethic, you won't get anywhere. Ronaldo took that on board, or had it built in him, and he worked and worked. He's still an absolute machine. But that's what all elite athletes have to be like. Nardiello went on to have a successful career in the Football League, scoring in a successful League One playoff final for Barnsley, and being promoted with Blackpool too. Now though, at 40, Nardiello is focusing on helping footballers and others guard their money having fallen victim to a scam during his time as a player. I work with anybody and everybody, he added. I do have quite a few footballers as clients, which is great because I can help prepare for life after football, get them saving and investing in the best possible way. I've got more than 50 professional players. But I do work with business owners, lawyers, solicitors, all sort of jobs. When I signed, you signed a YTS at 16 and couldn't sign a professional contract until you was 17. I went to United in the May, and that October I signed a professional contract. The money now is insane, but it was good money then too. All of a sudden you're 17 and you're earning 50 grand a year. This is 23 years ago. It's a hell of a lot of money. Players are in with their clubs a lot more often than when I was playing. You would be in at training for 10, you're done at 1.30, you've got all this time to kill. There is a lot of temptation out there. There are a lot of conmen out there, there were when I was playing specifically, who want to take advantage of footballers. I was taken advantage of when I was younger, long story short, I got 90% of my money back, but it's not always a happy ending.